Well, hello, welcome back to the vlog. It is Wednesday, it's like three o'clock and it is a hundred and some degrees out here. <gasps> it's been a very eventful day. I had to call the, pl uh, call the plumber, come out, um, because my toilet stopped working and my dad's toilet, it just would run periodically. I knew I was gonna need new toilets and he even said, it's like, well, you know, how old are these? And I said, I, I knew he would even say, I'm like, I'm, I'm ready to replace them. He's like, okay. Cause <laughs> he can do some fixes, but like one part's leaking this, you know, it's a toilet after a while. You're like, just get a new one. So two new toilets, it was going along swimmingly until he was in my dad's room and the floor is not level. He had to, I don't know. It ended up being a whole day project to redo the pipe. And that bathroom's never been right. That bathroom has never been right. When they, when I redid the bathrooms, when I bought this house, they pulled it up. There was mold all under there. So it's like, I don't even think that should be a bathroom, but okay. Anyway, so that was $2,000, $2,000 for toilets, but you got to have a toilet and a bad toilet can cause an even bigger mess in your house. So I knew I was going to have to replace them. Like I said, it's been 13, 14 years, especially in that one where it was wonky. So Anyway, that is done. The dogs are mad because they have been in my bedroom this entire time. Um, I mean, I let them out. The guy went to go get something else, so I let him out and gave him treats and stuff. But they're pissed. They're pissed at me. And they're gonna make me pay for it. So I'm gonna give them a big chew each now so they'll forgive me. I order these online from Sam's Club. My club doesn't carry them in store anymore, but you can send them online. They absolutely love these. Charlie especially loves these so they're pretty big strips i usually break them up into smaller pieces but they've been good so they each got a whole one got a whole one right terry oh you're charlie and there's teddy and there's blanket mountain yeah is that good such a good boy so i am having for dinner banana olives cheese and cashews i'm having a charcuterie board for dinner it is too hot even fathom cooking or even eating anything hot. I did have spaghetti yesterday because I wasn't feeling like my throat was kind of sore. I felt like I was maybe getting a cold and spaghetti is just always one of those things when I feel like that is good. So I did eat a hot dinner yesterday, but not today. I've got my charcuterie plate. <laughs> so what are you thinking about Charlie? Charlie says, I was in mom's room all day and I, I didn't like it. You weren't in there all day. You did come out a little bit. Yeah, but it was a while. I'm, I'm going to make her pay for it. I'm going to pee somewhere in this house. But it's all done. All the work is done. Yeah, all the work is done. We got new toilets. Did we get new toilets? Was the worker here today? Was somebody at the house today? Yeah, working in the bathrooms on the toilets. <laughs> I broke down and gave him another bit of a chew because... Teddy's still chewing. Is that very, very chewy, Teddy? Is that so chewy? Is that good? Yeah. Now it's dessert, which are these chocolate rice cakes. I think I, I bought these when my dad was still alive. And they've just been sitting on top of the fridge. I finally opened them. I love these. Um, I actually prefer when the rice cakes are like those bite-sized ones. But they I can't find them in the chocolate. And I like the chocolate best. Excuse me. So it is 1030 at night. I've just been cuddling with the dogs to make up for them having to not be out in the living room for a while today because they're they're going to make me pay. I also did their nails with the Dremel and whoo, that's a full body workout. Let me tell you what. Um, but I do have some Etsy orders. So the first one is from Shelly in Illinois. And she's a repeat customer and left me a um, really nice message on um, Etsy, so thank you so much. She is getting, of course, one of the cat bat magnets. She's also getting the new um, atomic cat magnet, the set of the lucky cat magnets, and she's getting both of these new, again, kind of art deco, mid-century modern cat magnets that I just made. Someone also ordered one of the Mary Cruz mass <laughs> magnets that I have. I don't think it's somebody who um, watches the video. It's just a single order, and I don't see that they're a repeat customer, but 
I made a, I don't know why I ordered 30 of these last year. I don't know why something happened. I got confused and I've only sold a handful. So hopefully this year they sell, I made them like people go on cruises and they hand them out as gifts or they put them on their stateroom doors. So that was the intent of this one that I made. Then I had an order from Nellie in Illinois, another repeat customer. And she ordered one of the new green Happy Halloween magnets and the three new Atomic Cat Mid-Century Modern Cat Magnets that I just made. I'm telling you people, I could have a Halloween store or a cat store. By and large, it's the Halloween and the cat stuff that sells the best. It is <coughs> the next day. It's Thursday. I hope this sore throat and cough again, but I think it's probably the weather. It is 90 degrees right now. Feels like 98. The feels like temperature is going to get over 100 again today. But tomorrow is supposed to cool off into the 90s, just regular, and then maybe in the 80s this weekend. But ugh. Don't have to go anywhere today or do anything, so super thankful for that. Um, need to work today to pay for my $2,000 toilets. Oh my gosh. Why? <sighs> Home ownership. I want to get the carpet cleaned, but now I'm going to have to wait on that to get the money for that. So it's like I, I have the money, but I'm trying to save. You know what I mean? So I don't want to keep going and chase, taking everything out of savings to pay for everything. So, and property tax is due um, in September, which I've already written the check for. So pay for the toilets, pay for the property tax. Like, I'm super grateful I have the money to pay it. Like, don't get me wrong. Um, it's just like, I need those carpets cleaned. And I don't know how much carpet cleaning would be. I did go on a site and was a local place and pricing it because I need the living room. <laughs> And the stairs and deodorizing, you can do that too. And I'm like, yes, yes. So anyway, hopefully we'll have some eBay and Etsy sales that might bump that total up in the next couple of weeks. Because um, I get paid with my books two months after the fact. So it's August. I'm going to get June's royalties this month and June was a slower month. So, you know, it is what it is. We'll be fine. So anyway, I do have another Etsy order to pull this morning so I can get that out in today's So day. this order is from Kathy in Iowa. She is a repeat customer. Thank you so much, Kathy. She's getting two of the Atomic Starburst cat magnets, the vintage record player magnet, the purple, Haunted House Magnet. We'll just call it purple because I have purple, blue, green, orange, red, red and orange. We got all the colors. <laughs> um, the pug and kitty cat in the stockings and then one of the Day of the Dead dogs. Well, I've made it to my perch on the couch. It's just like you can see the, see the heat in the air out there. Got my laptop, so still editing my 2024 version of the Beginner's Guide to eBay. Um, yesterday I did a chapter, a whole chapter, and even part of another chapter when the plumber was here. So, it's um, smooth sailing now. I got through the very technical chapters um, where I have to, like, look up ev literally, like, every sentence. I'm, like, going to double check, changing the Anyway, done. So, um, I will get this book done by the end of the month. I will get this one done by the end of the month. Now, that doesn't mean I won't go back in later on and add more because if eBay... Um, which they will with their fall seller release, you know, new features and things or whatever. And I will then go back and fix that. But these main, you know, edits where I'm going through and catching them up from the last time they were published, um, adding more in all the things, um, that will be done. And then I can move on to the next book, which I think I'll do the, Do the Amazon KDP book next because that's another one that's pretty detailed. And I have a lot in there. So, and then I'm going to do a 2024 Etsy book. Now, I just released five Etsy books for very specific things for selling antiques, selling crafts, selling, um, having a sticker shop, uh, print on demand, and digital downloads. I think I'm going to do who's that? When are you going to open my road? Hey, you, I see you here. My road is still closed. 
They've come back. <laughs> Open the road! Uh, yeah, you tell them, dog. Open that road. Um, but I think I'm going to do a 2024 Etsy book that's more... Those books, I went into very specifics about each of those. Excuse me. I know I yelled, but now you need to not bark. Come here. <laughs> the blanket again. It's okay. Um, but do like a more general hey, Etsy book where I get more in depth on the shipping and the tags and those kinds of things, regardless of what you're selling. So, because I think that will sell well. The 2024 guides usually sell well. People. I know. Can you believe they're out there? Look at your pile of blankets. He goes up there every day and just climbs up. Teddy, where's your where's your blanket pile? It behind you. Yeah. It behind you. Anyway, so I do these dated books, which sell much better than the non-dated books. Um, people wait for those, you know, new editions. So even though I did five Etsy books, I really think a 2024 Beginner's Guide to Etsy 2024 edition where I just really focus more general of what shipping and listing and all the SEO is for everybody and then update that every year would be good. Should I maybe have just done that instead of going in depth to all those other things? Maybe, but those things stay, you know, they are again, very specific. Like starting a sticker shop is very different than selling antiques. So they're done. They're there. They're not selling great, but they're there forever. So it is what it is. Um, Cause I again was thinking, well, I just need more books. But then I'm like, well, I don't know. I put out five new books and my sales numbers have increased a bit, but not like what you would think. Like if you put up five new books, you know what I mean? Anyway, so I'm doing the eBay, Amazon KDP, Etsy 2024. Now I always do a YouTube book every year. So I'm going to do that, but I don't think I'm going to call it 2024. I might call it like, well, I was going to say like, just call it the newest edition. But then if you don't date it, they don't really sell. Maybe I do 2024, 2025. YouTube doesn't update that much, you know? So by the time the next year rolls around, it's like, well, did anything much change? So still kind of doing that. And then I'm going to do one reselling planner this year, not an eBay planner, a Poshmark planner. No, I'm going to do one because um, uh, the Amazon bot system has cracked down on the low content books and having any kind of brand name in the title because it's a low content. Sometimes they'll get flagged. Only one of mine has, but I just, I just never know. So I'm like, you know what? I'm just going to make one reselling planner. And whether you sell on one site or two or more, it won't matter. It's all in the same planner. And that'll make my life easier. Somebody did ask if I'd make one that was smaller that they could take around with them. The issue with that is the reselling planner is very thick. Um, and so to shrink it down to a smaller size makes it sometimes difficult to open and write in. The thing I could do, and you guys can let me know if you like the reselling planners, is a way to shrink it down would be if I didn't put the weekly planner pages in and I made it, well, but I suppose if you're taking it with you, you want the planner pages, don't you? I'd have to take out some of the ledgers like, well, then it'd just be a regular old planner. You know what I mean? The point of the planners is because they're accounting ledgers and planners. So you have all of the accounting in there. And actually the planner pages are kind of secondary. Um, it's really more about the accounting stuff. So if I took all that out, then it'd just be a planner you, you took around with you. I mean, I guess I could put, <coughs> honey, honey. I guess I could put the, <coughs> honey. The uh, mileage and cost of goods ledgers in that people could track if they're buying at thrift stores or garage. I just don't know how that would work. Honestly, it just isn't my product. You know, it's just like a small planner, which kind of isn't then a reselling planner. Do you know what I mean? So I, I just don't think that would work to the six by nine size that I think some people want. 
I just don't think it would. So it'll still be the big one, the big size, because it needs to be with all the pages and then plenty of room to write. Anyway, but I gotta get to, gotta get to editing. Oh, another truck came. Now we've got three. Just take the fence down. I'm I'm still I can get out around, but things are still not completely open. And I miss the I miss the noise of the traffic. It's been gone since my dad's been gone, and I just really miss that that noise. <laughs> File this under. Be careful what you wish for. Like I miss the noise of the traffic. This guy's been jackhammering outside my window for like a half hour now. No, that's too noisy. I didn't want to jackhammer. Hi, <laughs> Teddy. Can we get a picture of brother? Oh. I got up and Charlie's like, Dad liked to snuggle where Mom was sitting. Yeah, you do. Well, he took a break from the jackhammering. <laughs> I just want my road back open. But it's nice to have the um, blacktop on the road because it definitely needed it. I'm planning on having a garage sale here with my brother and my niece. I told her to bring stuff over. She's got some. So we don't have it planned for sure yet because we're watching the weather. But I ordered this kit from Amazon with the signs and the different stickers. I don't know how many, that doesn't look like that many. My brother's has, is probably gonna have way more than I have. Um, but anyway, planning on that. So I thought this was a nice kit to get. Some, several of the signs, several of these on the, what are these, wire things? I know they sell these kinds of things at Dollar Tree, but like, they're very, they're a lot smaller and thinner than these. You need to like, whoops. Me and my brother can put those on some sticks or something to put around. And I also got a package in from Thrive Market. I did go ahead and reactivate my Thrive membership. I think it's $60 a year. And what they have is um, the healthier groceries and things that are very hard to find around here. And I really did like it when I got it before. Um, so yeah, let's open up here and see what is inside. I had some really good packing paper on top. That's always exciting. I already put it in the basement. Okay, so I wanted to try these Crunchies Pip Corn. 20% less fat, real cheddar cheese, and they're fried. I got those, um, what were they? The baked Cheetos. The... I don't know, they just didn't taste right. So anyway, try those. And then the same brand, I got the Cinnamon Twist. 50% less fat, corn flour. The sugars were lower on these. My brother's diabetic, so I was looking for some snacks that maybe were lower in sugar. That's what I was looking for when I, I ordered this. It's like, what did I order? Yeah, you got the stuff because you wanted to see sugar. Oh, these are for the dogs. Sweet potato chews for dogs? For dogs? Let's open that. See if they will eat that. They're pretty finicky. Oh, Penny took it. How about Charlie? Here's a little one. You want to try? It's like, um, it's a potato. Oh, I'll put it there. He'll think about it for a while. I bet he'll eat it. He's so finicky, yet he's so chunky. You gonna have it? It's a potato. Mmm, good to treat. Yeah, you don't want it? Oh, well, Teddy will take it. I got a natural peanut butter. I do not like peanut butter, natural peanut butter, but I thought it might get one to have and try it in a recipe that has sugar in it. So it's cutting it down a little bit, but try that. Um, This Catalina Crunch stuff is all over TikTok and Instagram. It's very expensive, but it was a better price through Thrive than it is directly. So I thought I would try this. Total sugar zero added sugar. Does it have, the thing I have to be careful of is it, if I'm gonna eat it, yes, that's stevia. Stevia kind of doesn't make me feel very well. Um, but I kind, I, I don't know, we'll try it. If I eat a very tiny amount, I didn't realize it had stevia. Ooh. And this is some risotto made from vegetables. Hmm. So creamy Parmesan should be pretty easy to make. Yeah, 12 minutes. So try that. And then what did I get? Oh, I got some whole wheat pasta. 
And I know people are like, go to Trader Joe's. We don't have a Trader Joe's here. We do have Aldi, but I, another thing is I'm not that crazy about a lot of the Aldi food. This is a take and bake sourdough loaf, organic, and I love bread. So I thought this would be a good thing to try. And zero sugar, is it low carb? I'm not sure. Anyway, I just, I love bread. And then these are another, like a lower sugar cookie that I wanted to try. Please don't have stevia. Mm. I don't think that one has stevia. I have diverticulitis. Oh, I got two of the pastas, whole wheat. Um, and so a lot of things give me major digestive issues. These I wanted to try because they are, oh, again, I wanted to see, oh, well, see, I don't think my brother can have that. The carbs are pretty high. But anyway, basically, quote unquote, healthier Pringles. And I got two of those, I guess. Then um, these Mary's cookies, they're gluten-free, plant-based, chocolate graham, total sugar five, added sugar four. I don't see stevia in that one. So I try that. And then these almond flour crackers. I'm just, I'm not like a person that usually eats a lot of meals. I mean, I will get, you know, takeout food that I've shown you guys and um, split that over a day or two or three. But I just like to have, you know, little snacks sometimes. Like last night I had cheese and nuts and a banana. <laughs> like, so just like little bits of stuff I kind of like. And I think really the only thing that might I should be concerned about is this stuff because it does have that stevia in it. Um, so what's a serving size? Half a cup. Okay, well... That, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. But that's my little Thrive Market haul. I'll link them below. I'm sure the link is some sort of discount code. We'll see. But anyway, I'm excited to try this stuff. I got the stevia. Here's the candy drawer. So I've gotten all these chocolate bars on sale for s'mores. Well, apparently I now have 12 chocolate bars. But I saw these at Walgreens and I've heard of them before. And again, I was thinking of my brother. So I bought... I, like, my plan was I was going to give him these two bags, and then I got one of these for myself, and I tried. I was like, oh, these are good, until I realized it has stevia in it, and I was sick. Um, so, yeah, artificial sweeteners, the stevia stuff, it just does not do well for me. So, I still have these because he couldn't have them, he said, because of the, I don't know, he said he couldn't have them. So I did clean out a little bit of the candy drawer, some things that were expired, but we still got this here. <laughs> Just me hoarding candy. Just me hoarding candy, because that's what I like to do. Here's the thing. I need to stop buying, I do love these Peppa Pig things though, um, like candy, this type of stuff. Because you know what? I don't, I like chocolate. You know, to me, chocolate is, is a candy. This type of stuff, it's just always just sugar and I never, not really my favorite thing anyway. I love these. I just had one of these for lunch. So sugar or the uh, candy drawer, dude, I don't know. I bought those months, months and months and months ago. I just, I don't know. I like it. I like to hoard the candy. Okay. Teddy, are you so cute? <laughs> oh, you're funny on your blankies. It is 315 and I'm done with another chapter. Yay. So now I'm switching to Etsy. I have been up cleaning and stuff. I'm not like just never getting. <laughs> um, but I got some um, restocks for my Etsy shop. So I got more of the purple cat mom magnets, the deer magnets, and one of the haunted house magnets. Got those back in stock. I do have others on order. Takes about a week to get them. So then, ugh. Can I reach? I can't then reach. I ordered some new things. First is a pumpkin, like a pumpkin cappuccino latte um, magnet I made. These are all, no, not all of these are ones I've made. This is one, people have been asking for more of like the shiny bright ornament magnets. So I got those in green and 
This is a darker blue. I kind of have a teal now. So a darker blue in that. Is that the only one? Um, then this I made. It's like the black and white one, but I made it in the orange and um, pink and purple. This is one I made, the Pop Art Pumpkin. And these are all magnets, by the way. Um, I made the Pop Art Typewriter. I made like um, a glass vase, multicolor. I made, now this one I bought, this one I bought from a designer because so many people love Halloween and I was kind of struggling to get, wait a minute, did I make that? Maybe I made that. I can't remember. I, I think I bought that. I think I bought that one. Um, I made this one, another cat. And then I made this one. I don't know if you guys like it, but it is a Halloween tree magnet. So now I'm going to sit here and I'm going to get all of these listed over on Etsy. I walked past the thermostat and it's 72, even though it's set at 70. The air conditioner just can't keep up with the heat. So I've been working a little bit in this room, my dad's room. Um, and <laughs> all of this stuff is unlisted on eBay. Now, normally this wouldn't be here. I would be, it would have been done already, but you guys know I had to put a pause on things because I have got to focus on my books. So, and I had that unique opportunity with all the Pioneer Woman stuff. Most of this is still the Pioneer Woman stuff. Um, not all of it will be on eBay. This I'll probably put out the garage sale. Um, I'm going to keep this basket and these two platters. So I really do like those. They're nice and sturdy. Um, and I'm also not going to ship that thing. So anyway, um, so that is there and we've got bubble wrap. This is going to be the photography and it probably will be, it could actually be the photography listing and shipping room. So bring stuff in, photograph it, list it here, take it downstairs to the storage room, and then when it sells, bring it back up and ship it. Um, that will just work better. Although, if I, to be honest, if I want to get anything done, I should move my office downstairs, because these two. Are you at, do you want me to move my office downstairs? Say, oh no, mom, don't do it. Don't do that, mom, no, no, no. <laughs> so, um, and I also have the card. See, this is the other thing. The card table and that standing desk I got. I actually think it would be bring the standing desk in here. I'm not using it out there because when I'm out there, they're like, you need to sit on the couch. And I'm like, but I need to stand up. No. Don't. You say, no, Mom. You sit down. Teddy, <laughs> are you tired? But you still want to see what I'm doing, don't you? So anyway, um... Yeah, I like this in here. I like. I mean, this is not like super cute, but I needed the storage. I'm keeping my dad's tractors. I made that whole display for him not long before he died. Um, I could probably actually move it up all the way to the top and then utilize that um, for something else. I'll do that another day. And then these pictures I got last year for him at Christmas, and then he would not let me take them down. <laughs> um, and then these are the flowers from his on his casket. I tried to dry them and preserve them. I didn't think I did a very good job, but there are those. You want to see the other toilet? Okay. This bathroom, I don't know what's going on in here. Um, let's see. So yes, new toilet, but see those bubbles and see that hole. Um, this, there is moist, like this is a mess. Although he pulled on these things a lot. But this whole room, there's just something wrong. Um, this is the toilet that the guy had to spend all day working on to get it level. He had to get in the floor and the pipes and all the things. My dad's shower, which I'm now storing the steam mop. Which I also need to get out and do the floors, but not in this heat. Then I have <laughs> the Dyson plugged in there. But we've had... Plumbers and contractors, like one plumber people, they literally went through the entire wall in the back, all the way down, trying to find the source of like a, a moisture bubble that would cause that. I don't know. It's been like that for a while before it had gotten all over the ceiling. 
and then fixed it and then this came back. But it's actually been like that for a long time. So maybe the moisture bubble has calmed down. But anyway, there's a look at the new toilet. One of two for $2,000. Wanna go back to the living room, Teddy? I have been keeping the doors to this room shut because they pee. Um, so it is nice though when I open it up, it's nice and cool in there. So just to keep the puppies away from that because they like, it's like, ooh, a new space. We're gonna go potty. Look at this little boy over here named Charlie Pug. His name is Charlie Pug. He says, when you guys sit down again, Oh, Teddy's got to get in the camera. Can't let Charlie get in the show. Huh? So this standing desk, like I said, I'm going to move it in there because it'll just work so much better. Um, like I said, I can photograph, list, and ship in that room. And bonus, I can shut the doors when I'm in there. And they'll probably cry and scratch at it a bit, but it'll help me get um, some work done when I am ready to get back to listing. Do you think we have enough blankets? Do you think we have enough blankets? <laughs> huh? It is 10.30. I just got done with my shower. But before I can go to bed, I have Etsy orders to do. So this first order is from Daphne in Pennsylvania. She is getting one of the... Where did that go? Here it is. One of the Black Cat and Pumpkin Magnets. One of the brand new Pumpkin Latte Magnets and one of the black cat stickers more magnets are on the way one of the pop art kittens one of the i can do hard things stickers and the black cat with pumpkins sticker next order is from diane in um, north carolina another repeat customer she said happy to see the adorable deer magnets had to order them quick yes i just got the deer back in so she's getting two of the magnets She's also getting two of the um, pop art cherry magnets and one of the atomic starburst cats, one of the sloth and donut, and one of the little cutie babies. They're so cute. Look at the little fingers. Ah, I can't. Next order is from Chris in Utah, another repeat customer. Thanks so much, Chris. She is getting, well, the screen just went away. Come back. Okay, there it is. She's getting, what is this doing? I tell you what, my Etsy screen is going crazy. There, She's getting one of the guinea pig magnets. This is what I call the bi-color because it's two color. And then I have one that's three colors and I call that one the tri-color. But she's getting the bi-color. She's also getting the green Happy Halloween. The very last of this Happy Easter. This is not going back in stock. So, Chris, you get the last one. The Easter Gingerbread House. The Black Cat and Pumpkins. And the new Haunted House. Next order is from Peggy in California. She's getting one of the new kind of bluish Haunted House magnets. One of the, the cat pumpkin is very popular today. I just got more of him in. So people are like, I better get him. You never know when he'll go out of stock. The pumpkin witch, the new pop art Labrador and cat bat. And then final order of the day is one of the, I like pickleball and maybe three people magnets. I can't know if this is the first one of these I've sold or not. I've had them quite a while. I have two other pickleball. So I started like, oh, pickleball's taken off and it's pickleball, pickleball, but I haven't sold much of the pickleball and I have three different options. So maybe it's, maybe it'll be something people get at Christmas. Although I had it last Christmas and they didn't get it. Maybe this will be the year. Another project I want to tackle is I have this box and I used to keep like some of the stickers that I have a lot of multiples of, but I've done some rearranging. So I've got those. See, when I first started out, like I ordered, the these were selling really well, so I ordered like a big chunk of them, and then they kind of dropped off. Same with the Made in the 80s and the Rainbows. So, yeah, that's why I basically just stick with the sample packs of 10, because on Sticker Mill, you have to order a lot of stickers to make them a better price than the sample packs of 10. It's strange, but that's how it works. Anyway, so what I want to do, though, is move all of the state stickers into this. So there's 32, 
drawers, obviously 50 states, so some will get doubled up, but um, these will not be restocked and they kind of get stuck in this thing and that will just free up more space because I am trying to get everything consolidated into just four of these to just manage things better. Um, at least that's what I always tell myself. But anyway, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that before I go to bed. It won't take me long. Well, that took longer than I thought, but I got it all organized alphabetically um, with two empty drawers. The M's, I had to break up into two because there's so many M's. Same with the N's, where the N's go, yeah. Actually, three N's. So many N's and so many uh, I's. So anyway, those are sorted. We should make some little label, but these don't sell great, so I'll be able to find them. There's an empty drawer, because I'm like, where's Rhode Island? I don't have a Rhode Island. And then I remember, yeah, I never could find a Rhode Island graphic to buy. So sorry, that's empty. But now this is empty and I'm gonna have to do some rearranging. But not tonight because my dogs want to go to bed.